Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, I'll talk about sensible preparation in that last week before the AMC. Now, with one week to go, it's not a good time to learn new math, but it is a good time to review the math you already know and to organize a formula sheet of results you want to remember for the test. Now, aside from this usual test preparation, there are a few helpful tips specific to the AMC that I'd like to talk about further. The first and the simplest is to just know the prime decomposition of the current calendar year. Now, the calendar year often shows up in AMC integer problems, so it's good to know its prime decomposition ahead of time. Second, let's talk about the drawing tools you should bring along to the test. Now, the most important tool is a short centimeter ruler to measure the figures provided and help make accurate scale drawings as needed. Now, I find that a full-size ruler is too clumsy for the AMC, so go with something around 15 to perhaps 20 centimeters in length, and that should work out pretty well for you. Another good tool to have is some centimeter graph paper. I find that centimeter graph paper is really handy for making scale drawings, and you can print out your own centimeter graph paper from the PDF linked in the description section of this video. Now to measure angles, you want to bring a small protractor, preferably one that has single degree resolution along the outside and larger 10 degree guidelines towards the center. So there you have it. Those are my big three drawing tools that I recommend, and you can find some more details on that and other helpful tools in the description section. So now let's talk about multiple choice organization and guessing strategy. The example choices shown are taken from an AMC geometry problem where a rough sketch indicates that an answer lies somewhere near 20. Now you need to work out that 11 times root 3 is approximately equal to 19 to discover that the correct answer is probably choice D or choice E. Now at that point you don't need to evaluate choices A or B because numerical answers in the AMC are always arranged in increasing order and it's really handy to know that. Now once you've eliminated down to two choices, and if that's the best you can do, then it's definitely worth guessing. So go ahead and flip a coin at that point to make a random choice between the two options. Now I recommend that you guess only after eliminating down to two choices. Others recommend three, but whatever you go with, it's important that you decide on your guessing strategy before the test. Don't try to figure this out during the test. Now you want to remember a few common radical values to help estimate numerical values in the answer choices. So try to remember that uh, root two is 1.41, root three, 1.73, root five, 2.24. These three values are the most common in the AMC answer choices. Finally, let's talk about answer construction and what that can mean. Now some answers in the AMC are constructed as sums or products or some other combination of variables in the problem statement. Now if the answer is constructed as something other than a simple sum, then that usually means that you cannot determine A and B separately, that you have to deduce the product AB, or in this example, the sum of squares, directly through some Vieta or Pythagoras relationship, for example. Now, if the answer is constructed as a simple sum, then that can go either way. You may be able to deduce A and B separately and just add them at the end of the problem, or you may have to deduce the sum directly through some Vieta or arithmetic series relationship, for example. In the case of a simple sum, you may or may not be able to find A and B separately. So those are the few test prep tips that I wanted to discuss in this video. Check out the PDF in the description section for more details and to print out some centimeter graph paper for yourself. Try to relax and stay focused during the AMC test. Good luck and take care. Bye-bye.